you were a leftist professor. Yes, I was. And you sh you broke out of this because you said the left traumatized you. Yeah, they traumatized me. What did they do? Um, they came they after they me. Called you like I, I started criticizing all this social justice woke stuff on campus. For example, they uh, the the no platforming. You know the. Uh, bias reporting hotline that was a big one they instituted this like reporting spy system in which the students could report on you for making a uh, a woke infraction you know what they call a bias infraction and i thought it was like a stasi state system yeah. and i th I, th yeah, I spoke up about it i would not put the the phone number or the uh or the email address on of this bias reporting hotline on my uh, on my syllabi okay so they and then i i was interviewed uh, i started this uh twitter account it's now been canceled uh before uh elon took over but i can't get it back it was called anti pc nyu prof and i started tweeting criticisms of all this from the standpoint of a professor at nyu was interviewed and twitter banned you not yet not yet no, they, but I mean, like, they did ban it they eventually. they eventually banned this profile yes they did wow yeah and i haven't been able to revive it even after elon's takeover but then uh i did this interview and i criticized all this stuff publicly and within two days the dean uh calls me into the office coerces me into a leave of absence the diversity equity and inclusion group condemns me i get a bunch of blistering emails from faculty saying that i was uh alt-right nazi uh Oh, short pants, white devil, all kinds of ludicrous things, racist, sexist, the whole nine yards. Anti-gay. Now, today, I would just, you know what I'd write back is LOL. <laughs> but, but then I actually cared what these people thought. Just remember the people tearing down the people tearing down those photos of, of the Israelis would actually be the ones calling you a Nazi. Probably back yeah. then. So Yeah, they would. Yes. Well, so at the time, what did you do? You wrote an apology or something? Oh no. No, I started I wrote Springtime for Snowflakes for one. <laughs> okay. And uh, I stood up to them and uh, I eventually sued them. I sued NYU and five professors that were libeling me all through the uh, official NYU list serves. And eventually they you know, they settled with me. You know how I got them to settle? You'll love this. Uh, they threw out the, uh, mo they, they filed a motion to dismiss the case, and my lawyers could not uh, overtake this uh, huge army of attorneys that NYU had. So I invited Milo Yiannopoulos to speak in my classroom, <laughs> listen to this, on Halloween itself, okay? Yeah. And the topic of the, of the talk was going to be how you're not allowed to wear a Halloween costume for one night but you can change your gender by day. Okay, that was the topic. And they shut it down. Guess this. De Blasio actually intervened and shut down my classroom himself. Whoa. Yeah. How, how did he, what did he do? He, he called NYU and said, this is too dangerous for to take place. Now, of course, we know the danger was coming from Antifa, who yeah. actually put a target on my back and through Twitter were threatening to kill me. Wow. Uh, I've been yeah. told that Antifa is not even a real thing. It's not even a real thing. Oh, it's just an idea. It's just an idea. It's an idea that's in a lot of people's heads to make them act like Antifa. To, to what you said, <laughs> yeah. though, like you, you, what you went through kind of circles the point of what you're saying is like if you push back yeah. most people don't have the resources to go against groups like this which mm -hmm. have massive budgets endowments whole groups you know yeah. cadres of lawyers to back up I and realized this has been propagating I touched, for decades. I touched a third rail that there was significant power behind that and I realized at that point that this social justice or what we now call wokeness was really the power this was embedded in the power structure if everybody who is uh, currently facing a, a criminal uh, proceeding mm -hmm. pleaded not guilty, the system would collapse. 